Get inspired by Ecuador's capital Quito, which is not only a hub for new ways of working, but also for the future of our planet. And see what happened with Niels, my poor, poor husband. Welcome to the middle of the world here in Quito. We had wonderful modern work to meetings and explored the city, which is for sure worth visiting. We met with Jose, who is the founder of the foundation Camera de Comercio Ecuadoriano Americana. They strive to bring more attention around B Corp companies as well as bringing indigenous and city people together for a better understanding and learning from each other. In order to get even more impact, they founded the consultancy Sistema B, which is owned by the foundation. Isn't it wonderful? The final and the golden say has always the foundation. With Christoph, we met the founder of Team Q Developers, a becoming powerhouse for developers. He and his team bring programming power into the world. Our highlight was meeting amazing Martin from Rokotoko. Rokotoko strives to save the world through buying and saving precious land in order to protect it. We are ambassadors of our purpose partner Thank You Social. We work with them together in order to make the world a better place. Martin's teammate from Rokotoko pointed out how important it is to get into the field where the real action is happening. I think everyone should go to the reserves to see how the work is, talk to the park guards, see what they do. I mean, walking and patrolling these big reserves is not easy and you also get to understand better what you're doing and it helps you even for reporting because you can actually see what you know, what you say in the paper, if it's actually happening and how much effort it requires. This is also true for companies where some employees have never seen a customer. Change that and people will become more engaged. The expert for sustainable tourism, Paola, from the company Hoko Travel, told us how important it is to connect tourism and preservation. For that, they are creating new ways of finding the perfect trip for people who want to travel but without harming our nature. Martin also said something that hooked us. But hope is something that we create through our actions. And each one of us can have a tremendous impact on constructing and building a better world. It was just for me this you know, how you can always try to find uh, the spot in, in life and maybe there is not a single spot, but where you can have a disproportionate impact. We cannot describe it better. If we all strive for more impact, we will create a world full of purpose. The city Quito is super interesting. Based in a valley with beautiful surroundings, there is the traditional old town with one of the best preserved colonial architectures in LATAM. Quito is also home to more than 50 churches of varying sizes and architectural styles. And they are really crazy, full of gold. La Compañía de Jesús is the most renowned of these churches and features an ornate gold interior and intricate Baroque architecture. We have never seen so many churches in one place with so much extravagance. Wouldn't it be better if the wealth would be shared with the people? Let us know and tell us in the comment what you think about that. And there is the district La Marisal, a modern part of the city with interesting skyscrapers, good and expensive food and the beautiful Parc de la Carolina where young and old meet for relaxation and sport. Do you remember it smelled really tasty in the park? Yes. Of course we visited the famous version of Quito at El Panecillo and had a wonderful view on the city from up here. Most crazy and we didn't expect that was our experience at the Equator Line. Did you know that special forces are taking place here? The Coriolis power tries to suck you into the northern and the southern hemisphere at
at the same time. Niels even got his ACT diploma. Yes. Super difficult. A certificate that will change his life for sure. Definitely. I will put it on LinkedIn. I mean, <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> we had also the privilege to book an amazing Airbnb with enough space to relax and work. We actually worked a lot and had to stand up at 3 a.m. in the night due to the time difference. With that, our life is becoming even more crazy. Going to bed around 8 p.m. and standing up when everybody else is still sleeping? Our clients in Europe are impressed. And we have to say, we are proud that we are doing that. Right? Of course. <laughs> We were wowed away by the clouds going through the city. This happens during the day and also during the night. I mean, look at this. It's it so, so beautiful. beautiful. What was really a big downer was Niels getting scabbers on his legs and his arms. It was awful. Small mites went into his body and still doing him harm. It really hurt and I could scratch myself the whole time. After all the work and my health issues, it was really important for us to recharge our batteries again. What could be better for this than nature? Let us show you the magic here in Ecuador. We went with our awesome guide Jose to the Cotopaxi volcano. Nature is just so beautiful. First, we had really bad luck with the weather and then the magic happened. The sky cleared up and showed us the active volcano for a bit. So we once already had the perfect moment and now we are waiting and hoping that it will come again. So this is how it looks like now. Let's see how it will be. <laughs> We were more than amazed. What a mesmerizing view. We are still truly happy about this day trip and can highly recommend going there. Go with Jose. He is a guide now for 20 years and knows everything you need to know. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> On our global modern work tour, next we are going to Colombia. So, do you know interesting and inspiring people and companies in Bogota, Medellin or Cartagena? Let us know or write it in the comments. Even more important than usual, take care. Stay bold and ciao ciao. ciao. If we all strive for more... <laughs> more... For more... More... <laughs> more impact. No, in fact, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the mission tomorrow. It's a break. Nice.